epic intro music. Hello, Bidwars, I like Bits here, and welcome to part two of my Rohan campaign. In the first episode, it went pretty successfully. We killed Isengard's third in command, Uglug, and we took Rockberg with. So we had two successful battles against Isengard in the first part, killing key character. Now, we could even move on to first Captain Lurtz, but I want to check him out with the spy. Um, I can't see much else around him, but probably don't want to go that far. Um, I feel like if we move there and don't have any movement points left, um, Saruman could come out with a large force of uruk -hai. Um And at the moment, this army is not going to withstand that. I think we actually want to take the rest of the infantry, even though they're not free upkeep, with us to hold the bridge. That would just make me feel a little bit better. It's going to ruin the economy a little bit, but we're just going to deal with that. And now we're going to get Ioma to deal with this guy. So we want to siege down this town and hope that this army comes in to attack me and then use the cavalry to absolutely destroy them. That's the theory behind it anyway. So I just want to quick scout first. Um, so yes, I'm going to end the turn here. Okay, so we have a... Ooh, now that's quite harsh. I might pull back from this one. Because this is the weaker army of the two. And they have an extra 800 soldiers. Mm, 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 mm. Right. Got they've got cavalry, they've got spears, they've got a bit of everything. They've got some tough Isengard pikes. I might try to withdraw just to see if I can fight one of them at a time because I'm not fully confident in this infantry army just yet. So we're going to see what happens with the withdrawal. We've withdrawn the wrong way, but hope. But it does, yes, it, we have avoided fighting them both at the same time, so we have succeeded in that. Just. <laughs> okay, getting Ioma married off, that's what I like to see. Good, because we'll start padding out the family tree. Okay, so that guy's wandering off that way. We'll see what's in Isengard. I've got Saruman, and we've got some good um, uruk High infantry. The raiders are not good. Those spearmen are not good. He's decent. Reavers are probably terrible. And Clan Spearman, not great. So that we can now successfully fight Lurtz too. So we will be doing this. He is a fearsome commander. He's a great all-round character. It won't be easy to break him. But we need to get him killed off so Saruman loses his good generals. Because then Saruman will have to come out of Isengard himself. To lead the forces. Okay, so we're going to start. Um, these guys I will leave there for the moment. Oh, you could enter shield wall with the spearman. Oh, no, shield wall with the swordsman. I always get that mixed up. You can do a shield trom with the peasants, but it's not really that impressive. And now we will run Theodred around. We've got to watch him against this one because obviously Lurtz will not rout. A bit like the last one, but I think slightly better. He has full command over his troops. And now they're bringing the archers out first. I think I'm going to smack into the archers straight away. Although they're firing upon them, so I'll go around the back. Right, so Lurtz will no doubt be at the back. He's at the back. Um, we're already causing casualties to the archer line, so that's good. I'm going to run all the way past and just try to kill Lurtz. Now, they're usually on the left side. I think the generals are normally on the left side, um, which is not the side we're charging on, but I'm just trying to be quick. Yeah, they're losing troops fast to our archers. Let's charge Lurtz. Yes, I'm sure Lurtz will be up on in this line. Probably this guy. Yes, this guy. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, that looked like a really good charge to get them straight out of there. We'll even we'll even pop the um, we'll even pop the special ability against Lurts. The battle is very much in our favour. Victory will be ours. All right, line up, line up, charge. We might be a bit too close for a proper charge there. Oh, they killed a lot of us on that charge though too. Right, get out, get out, get out, get out. That was a decent exchange. We want to get a bit further away. We want to watch this line too. Cause, oh, a few of them, their their formation is a bit broken up as well, which doesn't help either because sometimes the cavalry goes into the few leading the way. Not happy that we lost about 15 men already just charging this one though. We're going to have to be a little bit careful. Um, we're going to have to move the archer line back and the infantry line slightly forward. We didn't position the infantry. Look how they're standing. Okay. Peasant militia. Well, if we're moving them back, we can just run them there. And hopefully these guys can just stand there, run them there. The axemen can start running around the flank. But we've got to pay attention to Feardred, watch he doesn't die. He's fairly at the back of this charge, and it looks like a really good charge. Oh, not sure if we got much there. No, that... I said that looked like a good charge. We... That was a terrible charge. We killed one and lost five. That is not good. We're actually going to go support the infantry line, because Lurtz is scary. Um... He really got the better of us. He definitely got the better of us there. Um, yeah. No, oh, we're not running the infantry round. We should be closing in on them. Alright. Oh, and there. Okay. Oh, I don't know. Probably clicked on the wrong one there. So I'm going to move them back because I accidentally charged one of them in. So I don't know what I did. Oh, he can just charge them. And then you got to make sure they're all running. Who did I click on with these guys? Okay, yeah, that looks good. Oh, it's the back of spears. I didn't want to do that, but it's only spear guard. It isn't the Uruk High Pikes. Right, get out of there, get out of there, Feardred. Kill the raiders, if they get a good charge in the raiders. Okay, just charge, man. Okay. Okay, now the Berserkers are going to carve through some of our infantry line. Only half the enemy force remains. We are going to win, but we haven't done it as good as we could have done. Yeah, that's a decent charge. Got a good few of them killed there. 103 against 65. I can probably win that now. They're, they're on defeats almost a certainty too. And if you look hit down here, um, you can see that Theodred's also already got two, um, two experience. So he's almost got full experience. All right, they're already on certain defeat, and we've just cavalry charged them in the back again. Look, they their unit has utterly crumbled that time. Okay. And then it's just the Berserk. Oh, the Berserkers haven't engaged. They've wandered off for some reason. So that's great news for us. But yes, these units would probably have already routed by now. But they're not routing because Lurtz is incredible. 
yeah, I don't know what they're doing. The, the Lurtz is for some reason doing a runner, which is helpful to us. But yeah, as you can see, they're not breaking, even when they've got no chance. Okay, so get back out again. Yeah, I've never seen Lurtz run like that before. And if you don't play as Rohan, or someone that borders Isengard, he will command a fearsome army by the time you encounter Isengard. So that is... Yeah, look, see, they've got ten men and they're not routing. This army would definitely have routed by now. But also, like I said, he is up to free experience now. Um, so he is at full experience already. But that's what I was going to say. Like I said, we don't want to risk him against the Berserkers when there's only 14 in his unit. We, I'm happy to do a rear charge, though. If we get the shock infantry to start carving into them, I will happily charge the Berserkers from behind. You help over there. And, oh, i tell you what I've forgotten to do. Stop the archers firing. Ooh. So get out, get out, get out. We will do a rear charge on them. No, they're running at us still at the moment. Okay, so now we can risk Fearden. Is that Lurtz on his own? Yeah, that looks like Lurtz. Okay. Pop. Okay, brilliant charge. They shouldn't kill too many other cavalry when they're already engaged in Axemen. No. No kills on our cavalry on that charge. Brilliant. Line up and kill the last 17. Lurtz can sometimes take a lot of charges. Even when he's on his own, you sometimes still need to do a few more cycle charges. Okay, this has gone to plan. Brilliant. Kill the last spear guard. They're really holding well. But yeah, the second Lurtz dies, everyone will rout, but everybody's already dead this time. See, they're trying to hit Lurtz. I want to get him. Feodred's actually fighting. The Feodred could have got the kill on him there. He was the bloody one in the shot. Brilliant. So that's already Lurtz and Uglug killed. So Saruman will have to come out and lead this the troops himself. But the infantry, the, the infantry line did take quite a big hit there, so we need to get that reinforced. Um, they ended up with no men, and Fiedred himself killed 277 again, and 112 from the archers. Very happy with how it's going so far. Let's just see how long it takes us to get back to Foldberg, because we probably can't do it this term. But we at least need to get back over the river so we're in range of Eomer. Brilliant. We could take Eyes and Run and go sit in that, but it doesn't have any walls. So if they send a full stack at us, we're still going to lose. If we hide in Eyes and Run, it won't help us. It might be better to defend there, though. I'm not sure yet. So this army shouldn't be too bad either. Let's see if we can get... Yes, that's... Oh no, that wasn't the archers. We need the archers to actually turn up before we can siege that down, so that's why we need this guy to attack us. Right, that is not a good army to face. And Iama is caught up over here. So this, this definitely could have gone slightly smoother, but here we are. Let's see if there's anything here. No, we've got another army up there. We're going to attack Eisenrun because we can go straight in. It is going to leave Foldberg open, but I just want to get Fiedrid into a safer position. And if we knock this guy out, that's another general killed. But yeah, I have to admit, I'm quite worried about Fiedrid's safety at the, at this point. 
Um, we'll just start. There's only two units in there. Um, we'll bring up the archers on this side and we'll take Theodred around the other side. I'm not even sure. I don't think they had any ranged troops. Um, we'll just run the run the quick infantry over there too, in case they need support. And then Theodred will go round this side. Okay, good. Might take him all the way around the back, to be honest, and start... Oh, there's crossbow. Crossbow. I didn't... Why did I not check? <laughs> Crossbows are horrible. Okay. We're going to have to form up a little bit better then. Hopefully we're in range there. Uh, right. Run. And then you three get the axes on one side. So that if we do lure them out before Theodra gets there, oh, that'll do. Um, they can deal with it. That's better. And again, run. Hopefully the crossbows don't crumble our line too much because they are really good. We'll get Theodred around there as quickly as possible. And you also can't do very successful charges in cities. Uh, the pathfinding is not normally very good. So they're turning around to shoot us. Hopefully we can get in for one charge before they really organise themselves. No, they're turning around again. They are turning around again. And the general is going that way. They look like they will get a volley off before we get there. Oh no, that is what you want to do, okay. And they're not a pushover, so you do still want to pull them out straight away. Not sure we got any kills there. I think it might be better to just pull them out over here each time as well. Yeah, God, look, we killed, what, four of them? Four, I think? If we can lure them all the way out, that'll be ideal. But also because this is the general unit, it hasn't gone exactly to plan. Um, um, run, run. This could work quite nicely because we're firing into, they're firing into them. Um, and we have sandwiched them, but again, the general's unit. We're just going to have to do what we can with Theodred. Um, he's not going to connect on very good charges in there. At the moment, I'm kind of happy with not completely sandwiching them. Um... Okay, let's see. Okay. Okay, that was, again was a terrible charge, but luckily we're not taking any casualties yet. We seem to be back down to one experience. Look, I don't know what happened there. He doesn't have his free experience bars anymore. Okay. They're a bit too far out. Don't want my friendly fire. They're going to start getting a bit of friendly fire for sure. But yes, look, the Uruk High Crossbow haven't killed any of us at the very least. Even though we haven't whittled their unit down that much at all. We're killing their Uruk High Bodyguard quite efficiently. We're going to have to stop firing at some point though because we'll be getting friendly fire. Um, we should have pulled him out a little bit quicker than that, but we did pop our special ability on that charge, so it should be fine. They're down to 82 now. 
So whittling them down nicely and then hopefully we can get this unit. Well, it looks like these guys might finish them off first, to be perfectly honest. Um, and I'm going to stop firing with those guys now, too, because I'm just going to be shooting my own men. It might mean that they take a few more casualties. I don't know, but it probably evens out because you're not shooting your own men. Um, but yes, defeat seems certain. Yeah, as you can see, these guys are taking a while to wear down because you can't really form up for a good charge in the settlements. They look like they got shots off on us then, but yeah, we lost one guy. Um, but look, oh, we're mowing them down a little bit now. They lost about 20 on that charge somehow. No idea how it calculates like that was a good charge where the other ones weren't, but... Okay. Come on, finish them, finish them. And yes, I guess he might be falling a little bit faster because it's not anyone special. It's not Lurtz or anyone like that. And the balance of forces evenly matched. The crossbows are no joke, especially in melee either. See, 47 men. It looks like they're going to kill the guy before we get through the crossbows. <laughs> but whoever gets through first, um, we will support the other guy with. Yeah, it's really not good charges at the moment. I know it's they kind of always go a bit funny at the edge of the square, at least on Rome Total War, I remember. It was always a mess just trying to enter the square. I think Medieval 2 has improved upon the sieges a little bit, but, you know, there's still obviously improvement in the newer games on siege maps. But yeah, look, they're getting more shots off on us at the moment. We need to start ripping them apart. See, we're, we're taking some casualties now, which I don't like. Oh, hello. It looks as if we clicked attack with these guys, because they're all running over now. But we still want to finish the general off. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling a bit risky about Fiedon here, because he's not killing them as fast as I'd like. Be nice if we could finish these guys off. Oh, we could shoot them with the archers. Why did I not think of that already? Let's just run him out for a little bit. <laughs> Can they really not reach them? No, don't run all the way in. That's a joke that you can't do that range. Come on. Yeah, look, we're still losing cavalry. I don't like that. Let's shoot them. And look, their general is still in here somewhere. Yeah, look. He's still standing. These guys aren't a joke. <laughs> still killing my men, look. On his own. Kill them. Plus, they when they're in the town square, they won't rout. Even if the general's dead, so... It's funny watching their arrows bounce off them. <laughs> but yeah, they're still doing fairly nice damage to our army, and the general's still not dead. I hope we can save Theodred because he is now pretty isolated. I don't care about this settlement, I just. You know, I just wanted to try to get a bit further away from that other army. Hopefully they get distracted and try to take one of the nearer settlements. And I can get Yema over there. I 
I didn't play it. God, is he still? Look, he's st finally. Finally. That was ridiculous. Right, now we're going to charge Theodrid back in. He looks like he's coming for us, which is good, because it means he might, they might rout if they're out of the square. Get over there and stop firing. I think they've got fire at will off. They do. So now we just got to watch he doesn't do anything special. We'll charge these guys in because they're getting shot. Okay, now there's only 26 of them. I'm on a, they're still standing on the um, town square. Again, taking a few too many casualties, but it's still done the job for now. But like I say, uh, Theodred's still in a very unsafe position on the campaign map. Riders of Rohan! Right, that should get. That looked like a good charge. That should get a few of them. I might leave. I might risk them still in combat this time. Because there's only nine. There's less of them than we have horses. And the, the infantry is all here too. Now, I'll take them out once. Just can't leave. They were charging at us. So, I needed to break that up. And we're going to push them out the square so they should rout. Charge them for a last few couple of kills. Can't believe they're not routing yet. Okay, there's only nine of them. We can end it. Again, 79 kills for Theodred. Eisen runs a good one to get early too because it's another one that you need to t time to build up. We'll see what the public order is like. Okay, so it's blue, which isn't great. Could exterminate that one. <laughs> um, I think exterminate this one because firstly they're all orc, and if we take Fiatrid out, that's gonna riot. Sorry, Eisen run. Now the money is looking terrible. Look at that. We're not losing as much as we were, at least. Yes, as you can see, the start of the campaign not going perfectly, but we've won all the battles so far. Um, I'll run him the extra troops. That didn't work. I thought we were going to be able to get in the army. Um, but yes, I'm also trying to lure these guys away. If he goes to siege Ginyard or something like that, it'll buy us the time. We're just going to have to end the turn, unfortunately. We need money from some of the other factions. I think last time I was um, able to extort Isengard, a bit of cash out of them for the trade rights, and then a further cash out of them for the map information. So I had an extra couple of grand to work with. Um, but we'll see if we can get money off the elves or something. Yes, stopping. We have to end the turn again, unfortunately. But we've made good military gains so far. This is what we wanted. This is what we wanted. Because this is a full cavalry army. We'll be able to give them the runaround. So there's a general in the reinforcing army. We just have a bunch of peasants. Um, but 544 against 5, 939. We should be alright here as long as we ignore the pikes with Iama. But again, only 19 men. So we're going to have to utilise the Rohirrim and the archers. They're attacking us though, so we can wait for them to come to us. We could even charge off and kill that general before he catches up to them, which is another idea. Um, because I think they're probably coming from the left. We've got our tune, we've got the high ground. I think we're going to go over the left side. It's a good omen when that happens. The music, I mean. Peasants, still fearsome when commanded by the right person, which I'm not claiming is me, by the way. <laughs> right, let's start. Seems that that would be such a heroic tune if that stayed playing the whole time. Okay, so we're just going to have to charge at this middle army because the reinforcements are coming on the other side. Here they are. 
All right. But yes, I would love it if that tune played the whole time because it takes a bit of the buzz out when it stops playing. I think that would keep you fully motivated and entertained while commanding the Rohirrim. The archers are, of course, um, going to outrange us, so we need to kind of give them the runaround. Now, this guy is in the army commanded by the general, so I'm hoping it will route decently. Again, I can put these guys... Oh, yeah, that's the... Um... Yeah, we'll just send them over there. Not super important. I might do a little bit of pausing here, because... We'll charge everything we can while it's not in formation. Oh, there's some long spears hidden under them. It should be alright though, because long spears aren't that special. Alright, we probably did alright there. Let's see. Bring them out. But we don't want to charge the air, taking a few casualties. We want to avoid those spears. Shoot on spears or archers, basically. There's some spears. Some more peasants over here. They can charge the archers. And again, Uruk High Archers, not a pushover. They're not the weakest unit. Oh, there's some wargs in there too. Should really try to take note a little bit more of what's actually going on. Okay, get out, get out. Okay, again, not really a solid charge. We've got to watch this guy coming. Oh, he's coming in with more wargs. Okay. Um, might just try to run around the army a little bit. See what's going on here. So raiders, long spears. So they are on skirmish mode, but sometimes we have to do it ourselves. I've selected the wrong units there. Okay, we can't charge the spears with them. Let's bring them over here, see if we can get an opening. Um, and then these guys just get out of there for the moment. Try to run the wargs away, I think. Actually, the scouts can come over here too because they can hit these guys. There we go. Those raiders are isolated. That's what we like to see. The wargs are not giving chase, which is not what I like to see. Let's get over here. The scouts should still tear that unit apart. You look at that. Perfect charge. That's what I like to see from the reinforcements. Long spears over there. Raiders. So the spears are over there, so we do want to charge in. Check where Iamir is. He's over here, not doing anything. Um, did we forget to move them out? We didn't. Good. Um, get, we'll just... Lead the spears away, and Iyama, 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 spears, so yeah. And again, probably just want to wait for an opening with him, because he needs to preserve his men. This one isn't running. Okay, that is good, 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 good. Okay, see, half the enemy force, that's good news, but again, can't... We're still losing a lot of men, so we've got to be careful of that. They're by all means not invincible on the hardest difficulty. <laughs> okay, so we'll send him in now to get the others out. Looks like the wargs might be going towards the peasants, which is fine. Okay, just have a look at that. And then what have we got here? The spears coming in from this side. Um, and these guys keep shooting on the spears. 
I might send the peasants at the wargs and then get Ioma to go and assist there. Wait for another opening because they're not really grouped up very nicely. Okay, if we can get onto, get over there. Now for us. Now for ruin. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. We shouldn't have tried to go through their troops, but... Um, and what is that? Are they losing? Evenly matched. There's only 26 wargs against 53 mounted peasants, so that should be alright when we get Ema in there. Um, okay, the, the spears are coming at us. Keep shooting. Oh, right, so we can use these ones in melee now, too. They are still good in melee. They are Rohirrim. Men of Rohan. So they are still another pile of horses, which is what you need. Um, okay, attack the archers. Okay, and then these guys are just going to have to come this way, and then we'll focus on the general run, 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 run. Don't hit the spears for sure. They're killing those guys. Where is their general? He's doing his own thing. That's what I like to see. Go over there. Okay. That should basically be their first army routed. Because it is not commanded by the general. Look at that. Slaughtered. Slaughtered. Yep, they're, shot. they're routing. Um, and... We'll take Ema out because he's down to 11 men. We need to avoid combat with him now, really. Um, right, what, what's going on in each? They're still fighting, so I guess I'll bring them out because you don't want to lose too many. Um, they're routing, but again, we need to organise the line again to deal with spears, etc. Okay. The enemy general abandons his men. Yes. Good, good, good. Uh, that's not going to be the general general. That's just going to be the captain. That's just going to be the captain of the large army. Let's bring all of our guys back over here so that we can do the micro easier. Right, they're shaken. They might just route having this guy. Yeah, bring the peasant scouts into them. They'll route. Yes. So we've still got a unit of spears to watch out for. Um, we'll have to lock them in place um, with the scouts or something. So we still have a whole unit of wargs. We still have the generals, bodyguard, and a unit of pikes. Um, so let's see what they, who they want to bring towards us first. And now they... I don't know why they're taking the spears all the way over there. But we'll just plough everybody into the wargs for now. Just got to watch that this guy doesn't hit the spears. Because they sometimes kind of veer left and right. I don't like the pathfinding. <laughs> sometimes they'll just randomly start going left or something. The wargs might not route because... They have still got a general right behind them. Even though it says defeat is a certainty, look, and they are dropping like flies. They're shaken. They've gone back up to steady, so I'm going to bring everyone out again. They look like they're trying to get out too, so that works for us as well. Right. Okay, so they definitely came out worse on that engagement. Oh, they've ploughed back into us. But I need to get out before these guys. Come on. Why are you guys not running? Get out of there before you're charged. I think they, a few of them are going to get hit look, by the looks of it. No, we have just... They just made it. Everyone got out. That's, that's good. That's good. That's good. Rohirrim. And now we need to start... Getting them around the back. We can send these guys into the wargs. Iama over here. Good. And the general is doing kind of what I want them to do. No. Yes, yes, he's coming after the ones that we're moving away purposely to fight him with. 
And look, the wargs are not going to survive for much longer. Um, but we still want to move them out because the pikes are coming in. We shouldn't be too um, cautious. We shouldn't be overly cautious um, about the pikes because they're only Dunlending guys. They're not the heavy pikes of Isengard or even the heavy pikes of Dunlin. Okay, now get out. Get out, Carl Urban. He didn't lose anyone on that charge. Fantastic. Okay, they're actually getting a little bit depleted. The Wargs want to have another go at us because the General's still alive. How is their bodyguard looking now? Yep, they're already down to 38. They have like, what, 70, 76, 79, something like that. So they're about half strength already. Okay. That should deal with them. Hopefully we get a good charge here. Yes! So that's a fourth Isengard general defeated. Um, and the wargs will definitely route now. And then we'll have to figure out some... Yeah, see, wargs are routing. Um, so now we just have to route the bodyguard. Oh, they're charging the wrong unit. Get out of there. Get out of there. Hopefully we finish them off with this charge. And then we can bring these guys back in. Just to swarm them. Yeah, look. Broken, fighting to the death. So pull these guys out so they can route. And Iyama, where has he got to? Yeah. Okay, so you guys go over there. We're going to have to just hit them in place with the peasants, I think. Not yet, though. I want to try to get a side charge if possible. And then get these guys ready for the rear charge. Okay, that is running. It says they've got two dashes or chevrons, whatever you want to call them. And that is apparently running. Right, uh, okay, where are the peasants? Because they're the ones that we're not as fussed about. So they will charge them, and these guys charge them in the rear. Oh no, they don't turn around. So that's just so they don't turn around for these guys. Yes, and they routed. So we will kill them all, and I don't think we're going to catch anyone else. I think we just have to eliminate this unit, and that will have to do. Okay, good. That is another settlement taken, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're just waiting for that last guy to walk off the battle map. <laughs> You can exit, but he's right on the line. The yes. This is a great okay, so... Um, ooh, look, a bit of a split there. Ian didn't get the number one amount of kills. The peasant scouts did. The legends. See, they really do crumble lines. If you know what you're doing with them. Even the weakest of cavalry. The 1,000 would be useful, but we can't have them running around our lands like this. So they've sieged down Folberg, so we will have to throw everyone. What I really need is Iyama from one side and him from the other. Okay, and Occupy. Right, we have positive money now, look. Yes, that's what I like to see. Okay. He... Who have we got then? Yeah, we just want to leave the archers in there for now and hopefully take everybody else out. It might not go to plan, but we need to get, as you can see, look, we need to get everybody over here. So I don't care about the, um, we can move it down to low and blue will probably hold. Get them in there. Okay, we could even bring... Okay, and what have we got here? I don't care about that. 
At worst, they can have Eisen Run back. I really don't care about Eisen Run at this point in time. I didn't actually want to come um, past. I wanted to hold the bridge and wait for Iama, but they attacked too soon. So Iama got Aspiring Commander and Veteran Warrior as well. King Theoden got Northman Spear somehow, even though he's still ill at this point. Um, this is an army where we will want all of our units, so I don't care about the public order. We are just going to leave the peasants in Eisenrun, and we are going to sit there. Okay, see we can even get a mercenary. We can. Who can we command? I think we'd want to lead with Theodred, because Iama, the cavalry will be able to run from the side quickly. And then we've even got another... Uh, general over here, which is now um, Theoden's new brother-in-law. But yes, the public order's looking fine. As you wish. Yes. Okay, so the elven settlement was there, but we're going to the... I know where the capital is. It's just I could have already reached them and got a little bit of money out of them. Let's cross. So now we should be getting close to the Mordor lands. Yeah, it looks like yeah, this line looks like it's already red, so they already have Gelebrin. I don't know if they start with it, but we I should be able to reach Mordor on the next turn. We can't build anything because we didn't successfully extort Isengard at the beginning. But saying that, I still haven't played version 5 all that much. Um, I did a large campaign with Bree on the previous... Uh, I think more like version 3 or something, but I, I played... I've messed around a bit with version 5, but I haven't played that much. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, you can always follow me on Twitter and Instagram.